Hi there, good morning. Well, I hope you're well again. <laughs> nice new day today. Um, and I just pray God's absolute blessing on you and your family today as we just spend these minutes in God's word this morning. Well, the Bible speaks about fear not, fear not. You know, the Bible has 365 verses saying to us and telling us fear not. I love that I can take a verse for every day of the year. And it must have been something uh, that God really wanted to get across to us and that is and he wanted us to take hold of and that is to fear not don't let fear take place in your life um isaiah there's this amazing scripture in isaiah 41 verse 10 and i want to read that to you this morning it says fear not there is nothing to fear for i am with you do not look around you in terror and be dismayed for i am your god I will strengthen and harden you to difficulties. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will hold you up and ret retain you with my victorious right hand of rightness and justice. How amazing is that verse? You know, the verse begins and it commands us, fear not. That's what it starts off with, fear not. You know, you may say to me today, well, how can we go down that path? How can I choose today to not fear when I've got so much going on in my mind, so much going on in my life? Um, there's just so much going on around me, so much going on around the world today. How can we make that choice to say, I will not fear? I'm not going to fear today um, as, and I'm going to obey that command of the Lord, which is fear not. Well, the answer's right there in the next couple of words. It says, I am with you. I am with you. You know, Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 says, God is with us till the end of the age, right till the end of the age. Hebrews 13 verse 5 says he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. That is your God today. That is my God today. He will never leave us and he will never ever forsake us. You know the verse continues to say do not look around you in terror and be dismayed. Why? Because I am your God. I am your God. You know, Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 23 confirms this to us. It says, I only gave them this command. Obey me and I will be your God and you will be my people. Do all that I command and good things will happen to you. Wow. God's word is so, so amazing. Uh, then we know that God continues to say in that verse that I will strengthen and harden you to difficulties. I will strengthen you and I will harden you to difficulties. You know, Psalm 68 verse 35 speaks of how awesome God is. And um, he gives this awesome, almighty, all powerful God gives you and I strength. He gives strength to his people today. That is what he's handing out to you today. He's handing out to you his strength. You know, God's promises, they continue in Isaiah 41 verse 10. He says, yes, I will help you. Yes, I will help you. You know, where do you need help today? You know, I love Isaiah 41, 13. It says, God says he will take hold of your right hand and he will say to you, do not fear. I will help you. Take hold of God's hand today, wherever you're needing help. In that area, take hold of God's right, righteous, right, victorious hand today. And then the last part of that verse that we've read says, I will hold you up. I will hold you up. You know, be encouraged today um, and know that God is with you today. Uh, he is your God, as the scripture says. He will strengthen you today. He will harden you to those difficulties. He will help you. Um, he will hold you up today, his word says. Don't let the things of this world pull you down today. You serve a faithful, faithful God. Be blessed, be encouraged, and we'll chat again soon. God richly, richly bless you today. Bye-bye.